Welcome to Cooking Every Single Recipe in the Official Stardew Valley Cookbook. Brand new series, yippee! Don't forget to vote for what I make next in the comments below and subscribe! First things first, we make the dough. You want to start by whisking together one and one third cups of lukewarm water and two teaspoons sugar. And then you sprinkle the yeast on top and let sit until foamy. Once it's foamy, stir in three tablespoons of olive oil. Next, in a large bowl, whisk together two and a half cups all-purpose flour, a cup whole wheat flour, and two teaspoons of kosher salt. Then make a well in the center and put in your mixture. Once you have a shaggy dough, you're going to sprinkle on one quarter cups of Parmesan cheese, then turn it on out to a lightly floured surface and knead it until slightly springy. Now you let it sit for an hour and a half to rise in an oiled bowl, and while you do that, you want to take two plum tomatoes, cut them in half, and grate them in the big holes on a cheese grater. Now you want to mince a singular clove of garlic. Then you want to cut up only half a cup of fennel. I cut up the entire thing, uh, forgetting to read the recipe, but it's fine. It tastes delicious anyway. Uh, you want to save the fennel fronds, which are the little leafy green stuff, for garnish, and you don't want you want to just cut off the stalks. Next, you want about a quarter cup of the green onion whites for the actual recipe, and then two tablespoons of greens for garnish. Then you want to cut in half against the grain, half a cup of sugar snap peas. I accidentally cut them with the grain, but it's fine. That was the toppings for the spring greens pizza with tomato sauce. Now for the asparagus mushroom and goat cheese pizza, you want to hand tear two ounces of fresh wild mushrooms, and then you want to slice against the grain one inches, one inch spears of asparagus, six asparagus. For the cauliflower crust, you want to uh, cut up into like bite-sized pieces 675 grams of cauliflower, then put it into a food processor and pulse until completely minced. Now you take your minced cauliflower and put it onto a cheesecloth that's draped into a steamer basket. Uh, any excess cheesecloth will go over the uh, cauliflower and then you steam it until like kind of until tender but still with a little bit of crunch to it. Once it's done steaming, you're going to put it into a clean kitchen towel and wring it out. Careful not to burn yourself. Now, you grate half a cup of mozzarella cheese. Once that's done, you want to whisk, whisk together one egg and one egg white. Now, you add the cauliflower, the mozzarella cheese, three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt all together, and you mix it up until well combined. Then you use your hands to make it into about an 11 inch pie on a lightly oiled piece of parchment paper. And then put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Now you want to gather together a pinch of granulated sugar, a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, a pinch of red pepper flakes and some kosher salt. And then you're going to put your garlic into a pot with a little bit of olive oil until the garlic is tender then you add in your tomatoes and your spices and you're going to let that simmer and you're going to stir it around until it's a slightly thickened sauce and then you take all your vegetables season with olive oil uh salt and pepper and do the same thing with your asparagus and mushrooms separately though now to assemble the spring greens pizza you want to spread some pizza sauce a pretty a nice coating, sprinkle mozzarella cheese and then put on your vegetables. And then for the goat cheese and asparagus, you want to sprinkle on the mozzarella cheese and lay on your vegetables. Uh, and then you're good. Those can both go in the oven at 425 to 475 uh, in, for 15 minutes and it should be good. This recipe was a lot. That's probably because it's technically four recipes. But it was really good and so well worth it. I would highly recommend. The cheese and the crust add such like a nice little salty texture. And honestly, don't like licorice and fennel, that's kind of its whole thing. Uh, but it tasted really good. I would give it like 7.5 to 8 out of 10. 